Destiny War, Chapter 2 Axon crouched down behind a low stone wall and watched the fire and ice bolts fly by overhead. Beside him, Brutaka was peering around the crumbling bit of cover now and then, hurling a blast from his sword. Knock on the front door, grumbled Axon. Great strategy. I think all that time in Murray Nui left you with a waterlogged brain. Oh, come on, said Brutaka, smiling. He picked off an attacker with a bolt of energy, then winged another. You love this, and you know it. After thousands of years sitting around on Voyo Nui waiting for something to happen, you need the exercise. A green flesh Skakti climbed over the wall, spiked club in hand. Axon quickly made him regret it. This was supposed to be a nice, simple job. Go to Zaykaz, find Warlord Nectan, arrange an alliance between the Order and the Skakti. Not get pinned on a beach by an angry horde. Are we pinned? We're not pinned, said Brutaka. Watch. Brutaka popped over the wall and fired an energy bolt at a half-crumpled building. Shearing through its only support, he sent the structure toppling down on a mob of Skakti. When the dust cleared, all of them were trapped beneath the rubble. Now those guys, they're pinned, said Brutaka. Axon sighed. <sighs> Just like the good old days, he said. Now I remember why I hated them so much. If you like that idea, you'll love this one, Brutaka replied. Before Axon could react, Brutaka had grabbed him by the back of the neck. He dragged Axon to his feet and stood beside him, free arm in the air. We surrender, Brutaka shouted to the Skakti army. Take us, we're yours! Elsewhere, a trader on the island of Stelt would, over the course of his life, see pretty much everything at least once. The place was a crossroads for the crooked, the desperate, and those just looking for fast money or a deal best kept hidden from Toa. This particular trader, though, had recently seen more than he would have wished. A small group of warriors, including the hated Rudaka, had stolen one of his best ships. Worse, they had done it in such a way that no one would even believe it had happened. Things had at last settled down, though. He had managed to find a replacement ship and recover those members of the old crew who were still alive. It was back to business as usual. At least until a 20-foot-tall dragon tore the roof off his shop. Where's Teradax? The dragon growled. Teradax? Who or what is that? And how would I know? Said the trader, reaching frantically for a weapon and coming up with nothing better than a cracked Kanoka disc. I know stealth said the dragon. A new Rama doesn't buzz on the Trent Crumb Peninsula without you scum hearing it. So I'll ask again, where is he? Where is the Makuta of Metru Nui? I don't know, I swear it, shouted the trader. The dragon scooped his victim up in a great claw. I don't have time for this. I have places to be and bodies to break. I want you to send out a message to all your friends, to everyone who sails in and out of this island. Tell them, Miserix is back, and when I find him, Teradax is dead. Elsewhere once more, Vazon sat in a small skiff with a jet black sail. Trinuma sat at the bow, keeping an eye out for potential threats. If he considered Vazon one, he didn't show it. For his part, Vazon was just happy to be out of his cell. Prison was far too... confining. But then he guessed that was the point of it. Speaking of points, Trinuma had given him a lovely dagger. Vazon had said thank you by not trying to plunge into his companion's back. Where are we going? asked Vazon. Why are we going? Are we going at all, or just sailing in a big circle? Or is it a spiral? I went down a spiral once, a big stone tunnel that went down and down and down, and ended in Zyglath. Whoever built it had no decorating sense at all. Would you be quiet, said Trinuma. This is a secret mission. Do you understand that? Sure, answered Vazon. Secret mission means if you get killed, I won't tell anyone. And you still haven't answered any of my 110 questions, or my follow-ups. Trinuma sighed in resignation. <sighs> We're going to a place called Destral. 
Once we get there, your job starts. If you succeed, you live to babble another day. If you fail, you die horribly. Okay? Destro. Destro. Wait a minute, that's a Makuta base! Spiria was a Makuta. At least he was until Miserix killed him. I flew with Miserix, did I tell you that? At least since he did those loops and threw me off his back. Ocean water is really cold. Don't let anyone tell you different. So, what am I supposed to do on Destrol? Theft? Assassination? Running with sharp objects? You have the most important job of all, said Trinuma. You're going to betray the Order of Matanui and the entire universe. And this is how you're going to do it. To be continued.